The champion chase is going to be run at a serious clip this year. The likes of Special Tiara and Armad know no other way than to go off at a million miles an hour. And then you've got the likes of Politolog, Min, Duvan, Charbel, Altior. They all like to go forward. The battle for position is going to be absolutely fierce and I can see this turning into a really gruelling test. The ones that I can see are most likely to seed slightly in that battle for position is Altior simply because Nico de Bonville will feel he is on the best horse in the race and he can afford to make that move. Uh, Ruby Walsh on Duvan likewise simply because he has been off so long that as long as the horse isn't too fresh and gives him the option I can see Ruby taking a tug just because it's perhaps a, a, a kind of way to play him given the amount of time he's been off uh, and how gruelling a race this is uh, is going to be. They've also got Min in there who is race fit and they can sort of hit Altior with a with a one-two punch, one from in front, one from behind. Um, this all leads to two possibilities really with such a ferocious gallop and that is that there is either a complete pace collapse and something comes from the clouds to uh, to swoop, I'm not sure I can see that happening just because of the class of the horses involved in this. So that means it's going to turn into a bit of a battle royale a la Sprinter Sacra when he regained the uh, champion chase crown. And uh, it's it's going to kind of be a, a last man standing over, over two miles. Stamina is really going to come into play here, especially on this testing ground. And it's going to be a case of who can keep going at that pace the longest.